The area's certified, most accurate forecast six years in a row. Meteorologist Chad Raithlisberger. Well, after a day with high temperatures in the low to mid 80s on Saturday, we were a little bit cooler on this Sunday, but for many of us, those temperatures above average once again earlier this afternoon. High temperatures here in Green Bay made it up to 74. 74 as well in Clintonville, 72 in Appleton, and even some low to mid 70s across far northern Wisconsin. We should be in the upper 60s for average highs this time of the year. Right now in Appleton, our, on our Storm Team 5 Skyview camera that is powered by pillow windows and doors as we look towards the west. Mostly clear skies across the area right now. 63 currently in Appleton, 59 in Oshkosh, and right now in Green Bay, we have mostly clear skies, 61 degrees with an east to southeast wind at six miles an hour. So we will notice a few more clouds arrive late tonight into tomorrow morning as temperatures fall back into the mid and upper 40s for many of us later on tonight. Winds will remain fairly light out of the northeast at around five to 10 miles an hour. Right now, 57 in Anago and in Mountain. We're at 52 up at Washington Island and low to mid 50s right along the Lake Michigan shoreline, but still holding on to some 60s in Wapaka, Watoma, out towards Clintonville, Shano, and uh, areas around uh, Appleton as well, still in the lower 60s. Winds fairly light, if not calm, for a few locations, and those winds will be fairly light through the rest of the evening and overnight, and even into tomorrow morning. They will start to eventually pick up a little breeze uh, throughout your Monday, generally out of the northeast at around 5 to 15 miles an hour. So here's what we're expecting for Memorial Day. Mostly cloudy but dry for any services during the morning hours, but rain showers arrive into the afternoon and it will be cooler highs for many of us could be stuck in the 50s tomorrow with those rain showers becoming fairly likely uh, through the afternoon and into the evening hours on Monday. Right now, lots of clear skies and dry across the area had a post on Facebook about this earlier this evening. Looks like rain just west of Green Bay. These are actually bugs hatching, being picked up by the radar, and we have had plenty of comments on our Facebook page about this. So if you are dealing with this this evening, feel free to uh, share some pictures because uh, a lot of people chiming in having some bug issues that we're seeing on the radar here this evening. Otherwise, a large view, we do have rain off to the west and some severe weather off to the south and west as well. This activity starts to make its way towards Wisconsin as we head to the day on Monday. So in the short term, clear skies now will give way to more clouds into early tomorrow morning. Notice Monday morning, still dry. Here comes the rain. Here's now noon, still dry for many of us, but that rain not too far away. Those rain showers then expanding uh, coverage and could have some heavy rain at times through the evening hours on Monday before this finally starts to wrap up. Monday night and into early Tuesday morning. Rainfall amounts, however, could be fairly impressive. We don't need rain across the area, but a solid half inch to over an inch of rain currently possible throughout the day on Monday. So your forecast for tonight calls for increasing clouds. We call it partly cloudy here later on tonight with low temperatures, fairly comfortable in the mid to upper 40s. And then on Memorial Day, a dry start with afternoon rain showers expected. High temperatures well below average with northeast winds at 5 to 15 miles an hour. Here's your seven day planner. Cloudy skies, 60 on Tuesday. Another chance for some rain showers on Wednesday. We dry out Thursday with more showers and storms possible Friday and Saturday. The Kagan Allergy Report has pollen very high and the mold is moderate. And you can always get the latest weather forecast on our Facebook page, WFRV Local 5. Well, we had two nice days, so yesterday and today, and then just rain for the rest it of the week. It seems like every year, Memorial Day weekend, we just have one not so good day. Unfortunately, it'll be tomorrow. Yikes. Yeah. Thank you, Chad. Okay.